So I forgot to turn it on. Um, but all I'm doing is I'm just pouring some acrylic paint in a tray. I am then going to here um, you know work on combining acrylic with epoxy um, as I go through this process and you know not like it's too easy to paint with just one of them, but um, just doing something different. So of course I'm making a tray. I just spray painted it black. Uh, I don't even remember where I bought it from, if it was Dollar General or Walmart or whatever, but someplace. And um, <clears throat> just some general, I mean, grief. All I have is like Walmart acrylic paints. So it's not like it's anything special. I'm just trying to see if the acrylic paint makes sense. For me to use that with the epoxy. I love epoxy. I want, you know, I work on, epoxy creations all the time, uh, both for work, but then also for the art. And uh, absolutely love it. But, you know, just looking at, like I said, incorporating the epoxy with the acrylic because it's, you know, you get different designs. If you're designing with um, acrylic, it looks very different, very, very different than if you're, you know, designing with epoxy. Um, obviously epoxy has incredible durability, uh, which, you know, obviously acrylic does not. Um, so incorporating the two together, I think it's like best of both worlds. And, um, uh, so that's what I'm kind of looking at doing. Um, and I am just going to use a simple little technique. Just to have a little bit of fun. I feel like I need a tiny bit more black, but I don't want too much black because then it takes over the entire thing. But I'll do a little bit more. Yeah, when you're making things, whether it's a countertop or a floor or a shower wall or a painting or a tray, dark colors take over so easily and can just completely change any and every you know design. Um, you know, that, that you're thinking about doing, I'm doing a marble. So the marble is just really helping me blend these colors and this is absolutely <laughs> so incredibly easy but um you know it's so, so easy a caveman can do it but it's uh i don't want to offend cavemen but this is super easy <laughs> it takes and it moves all the colors blending them in every which direction Now, obviously, you can't you know, eat on or do anything on acrylic paint. Um, it's designed for, well, to go on the wall, and that's about it. So in order for this to actually be sustainable, obviously, I have to you know, cover it in epoxy once I'm done, uh, which obviously is my plan anyway. And um, just having some fun. I love creating. I, I, I just can't not create. Um, I love, you know, watching videos of other artists, um, kind of learning about, you know, how they do what they do, um, different techniques or different ideas, you know, things that, that they do that I really like and that I want to try or where I want to try different color combinations. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry. Um, like different color combinations and it's just, and I do promise to, I will have a better studio. I'm building it downstairs. Um, it will be magnificent. I already have, I have two work tables built. They're both four feet by eight feet. Um, so that's going to make this so, so much better.
you know, just kind of melding and spreading colors. I don't really need to cover everything because I'm going to do the epoxy anyway, but uh, I would have preferred, and that marble just touched the wall, so that'll be interesting. I'll have to cover that up later. Um, but I did spray paint the tray white, so I thought that would look good with the white, gold, and black design that I'm doing. But I don't need it to go all the way to the walls everywhere because, like I said, I already spray painted it. And, you know, white matches what I'm doing and I'm going to cover it in epoxy no matter what. So, I kind of feel like I need a little bit more black because that brown seems to be taking over quite a bit. have some fun with it you know just let this thing roll around and do its thing and of course if I go that fast it doesn't actually spread it so much it just kind of parts it but <clears throat> but it still creates really cool design elements and things that it's doing pushing the paint from one place to another and take it with it I really have no idea if you guys are even seeing what's happening here. Tray is definitely too wet. All right, I'm just gonna do a little tipping. That'll also further change the design a little bit, stretching it. That's a fun design. Lots of brown. I could add a little bit less brown, but but just the right amount of black. It's not taking over anywhere. It's not dominating, which dark colors normally do. The brown. I mean, I wanted to highlight the brown, obviously, but um, plenty of lots of that. I feel like there's the right amount of white to offset the black. And then, of course, the gold throw in there as well. And then I'll just come back once all of this is dry and cover it with epoxy so that it can actually be used as a tray. That's kind of cool. Um, man, is there anything else I want to change? You know what, let's, let's do a tiny bit of isopropyl alcohol with um, titanium white and white diamond in it. Doesn't really affect acrylic too much, but it does a little. And it'll pop some bubbles as well. So add a tiny bit of sparkles, well, quite a bit of sparkle, um, which is super cool. That way when I just put clear, or I may do clear with some glitter possibly, um, It'll really like pop. So it's not bad. Um, yeah, and of course I'll touch up where I touched it here. And also on the inside, once everything is done, I'll just tape it off and then recover the edges um, with just, I guess, white spray paint. But um, yeah, that's not bad at all. So um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Uh, I think the results were pretty good. And um, 
all that's left, like I said, cover with epoxy. I'm just gonna do clear. Um, I may or may not do sparkles in it, um, but or some glitter, uh, but I might just do that and then touch up, you know, the white. It's done. I mean, I probably have less than ten dollars in materials once it's all said and done between the tray, the acrylic, and the epoxy. Um, you know, obviously you sell it for a lot more. So, hope you guys liked it. If you did, please like, please comment, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. Um, if I can change anything, do anything better, please let me know. Because I'm experimenting, I'm having fun, I enjoy this. Um, a lot of you guys are a whole lot more experienced than I am with, especially with acrylics. Um, I'm just trying to incorporate acrylics with the epoxy, which I absolutely love and I've been using for years. And uh, it's a learning curve. I know it is. And, um, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it. So, hope you guys liked it. Um, if you did, let me know. And I'll see you on the next one.